Oh, hello friends and welcome back to Nephrite World. Quarter scene here and today we are going to sort out these uh, Maccas. Uh, I've got like a little bit of a, a nice smooth land set up and stuff so yeah, um, it's simple stuff anyway. And yeah, I've got some of these stone fences because I find stone fences are a lot easier to place than wood, eh, not place, but make, make because stone is easier to obtain than wood. In my opinion, but you know, so yeah, we're starting off the series nice and slow anyway, you know, we're just getting set up, getting things started, and uh, the thing is about Maccas is they need two, two wide gates, I believe, to fit in, it might be more, that would suck, oh, should we make another just in case, oh, we'll test it, if it, if it doesn't work, then, then we know. Then we know. We'll learn together. Uh, I just know that one is not enough, so I definitely need at least two, and we'll we'll find out. Uh, so what I need now is some wheat. Yeah. So as said before, that I'm planning on converting this into a barn and build like a proper home later. So this is why this is here. Bring the mackers in. Then next time I'll have this all open. And uh, yeah, they can have like this area and I'll have like a home over there probably. I'll probably end up like cutting that completely off and having that house on top of a hill or something like that. I'll do something daft. So how is everyone? You know, I've been great. I've been playing Fallout 4 a bit and stuff like that. I hope you've been checking that out. I am not good, so please forgive me if you have. Uh, wheat, there we go. But yeah, I really appreciate it if you've been watching. Also, if you've been watching my previous episodes, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it, you know, because you guys are the reasons I keep doing these videos and stuff. And, you know, I'm trying to be a borderline educational, borderline uh, entertainment because, you know, I really want to be like all entertainment, but sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Sometimes people need something from you, not want something from you. And that's like the difference at the moment. Right, so we've got this one macker coming in. Let's see if the two gates work. Oh. Yeah, I've seen a, a, a video a video recently uh, of a, a kind of game, and it's, uh, oh, what's it called again? Um, what would you do or something? He's not coming in. Hang on. Give us a set of reset. There we go. Come on. Right. So I'm not sh I don't think two is enough because he's not... Oh, he's ran away! Oh, <laughs> where you going? You! You! Yeah! Come here. Come in here. Right, yeah, two isn't enough, right? In my head, two was enough, but as soon as I saw it placed down, I was like, two's not enough, is it? No. Nah. Oh, oh, don't mind me. Thank you. Another one like a night's mobs. Oh, he's evil. <laughs> right. Let's uh, try and make another fence gate and we'll see if we can get this to work. Right. So do you think it's three? Or do you think it's four? Some people probably already know. If you already know, why are you watching this? Because, you know, you already know. And like I say, it's borderline education, borderline entertainment. Uh, I haven't got the entertainment bit down yet, so and so far I'm not doing so great with the educational bit, so good luck with that. Right. Well, if you didn't know how to make a fence gate, then there you go. You've learned something, but you probably did, because, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not brand new. Alright. Uh, let's try this again, yeah? Come here. Three? Is three enough? Ooh, ooh. I think I'm gonna need four. Gonna need four. Okay. Right, we'll make a fourth one. Sorry it's a bit back and forth, but we're learning, right? I was thinking in my head that it was two. Turns out I'm nowhere close. But sometimes that's how the game goes, you know? It's trial and error. It's trial and error. But now, now... Oh. No, don't leave! So, three's enough. Oh. No! Come back! You want to be in here? Stay with me! Come on! So he did- he was over. He was definitely over, wasn't he? And he, he walked back out. Right, well, we'll try... We'll try for just for ease of access. And does that- does that balance that up? 
Is that centered now? Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Nah. <laughs> oh well. Ooh. Tsunami! Oh dear. Storm. Well, like a night of events. Right, he's in. Right, you're staying locked in here. And I'm gonna hide inside. Just in case. BRB. So yeah, I'm not seeing anything pop up. Sometimes like a night has like random events. I think it's like every half an hour or something like that. So you just gotta be careful. And then again, it might be near the water. So I gotta watch out for that. But what we're gonna do is just pull in this. Oh, it's over. All right, For what? so whatever it is. Oh, I've got a cow coming too now. <laughs> uh, whatever it was, it's gone now. So I think we're safe. Right, so let's get you in. Come on. Yeah, see, straight in with four. So, I think they can do it with three, but it might just be a squeeze before, definitely. So, yeah, we've got two markers now. See, so now, we're, we should be doing a little bit of feeding, like so. And we'll get a marker, baby. <gasps> That's huge. Oh, can we get a proper look? Oh, my God, his head is huge. Bloody hell. <laughs> so, there we go. We've got markers. And the great thing about marker meat is, when you eat it... Uh, cooked mac and meat that is you get like this extra health buff which you would have seen in my previous videos if you've been watching it and like i like to say again thank you if you have been you know i really appreciate the support and um, pam's harvest is going along well they've just been growing away so i think we'll give them a quick check but uh, not without you getting out that's another thing with the markers being so big you can open one gear for yourself and not worry about them escaping so that's like fantastic. So all we need is like the two and then we've got the beer and we'll go from there. I know we've got one over there, but now we know we've got our supply of maca, which is cool. We just need to hope that no um, Udaraptors or Ventaraptors come along and start eating them, because that's not ideal. Uh, there we go, harvested. And we'll have some strawberries and some raspberries and some candleberries. And uh, they're not ready yet, that's okay. So, I'd like to plot some more of these down. There we go, because we'd like to have some candles. And that would be cool. Yeah, that's one of the things I like about Pam's Harvest, just all like the farming. This is just going to end up being a farming series, I think. Instead of like going off and adventure and stuff, we're just going to farm. Uh, that's probably the case. I mean, we've got the Yale. A random horse wandered in. I think he just jumped down from be behind there, or into there, which was quite nice. And we'll make that pen bigger and stuff like that. But yeah, we're getting this sorted, right? So if you didn't know how to farm Mac is, that's it. That's the gist of it. It's not hard. So go and do it yourself because it's a lot of fun. You know, I'm like excited now because of this Mac and me. It's like a huge advantage when I go out and adventure. Because not only I'm getting uh, my health back and stuff when I'm like buffing. But also I've got like the, the bonus health buff for so many seconds. So it could save my life. And at the moment I've only got the, the leather armor. So that's really useful. Uh, the only problem is it gets really noisy, doesn't it? With the Maccas and the Yales. But yeah, that's great anyway. Alright, so yeah, borderline educational entertainment. I like the part where the Macca walked in even though I wasn't looking and I just stopped for a second. That that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. So yeah, if you want to see more videos, uh, let me know if there's something you need to know about uh, like Night's Mobs and stuff and I'll try and get on to doing it because... You know what, it, it is fun and I like popping on every now and then and proving. But like I say, what I'm going to do is build this into a barn. It's going to be great. I'm going to get my own house and it's going to be all fancy, yeah. And I'm hoping to get some people on to um, record me sometimes. So, you know, we'll get a bit of back and forth conversation going on. But, you know, you know. All right. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you later, okay? Bye.